What is up, Mimbo? Yes, I just had to start off my day with a little workout. It still feels good during this weird, weird time to get a little workout in every day. Can't wait to get back to the gym though. <sighs> I'm in LA right now and it feels really lonely. Actually the first day since the quarantine started that Jimmy and I have not been together. I was left here in Big Bear to have a little bit of me time, solitude time. Today's video is gonna be part of my day here in Big Bear and part of Jimmy's day in LA. If you're feeling lonely, maybe you're by yourself, maybe you're not, go ahead and just drop a comment. Madeline and I tried to reply to every single comment. I had to come back to LA to run some errands that we have to do for Music. I started my morning with a workout, a run, and a hike. Now I am just enjoying this view, which you have to see. That's unreal. Very first question is, how has your quarantine been? Mine has been a roller coaster of different emotions. And I say roller coaster like it's some tragic thing, but it hasn't been that crazy. <laughs> I have gotten a lot better at forming a routine, setting the alarm at seven, waking up, doing our morning routines. Before we get into like the work, I'm gonna continue my day. Let's see what happens. This is so weird. <laughs> at this point, I'm super used to it. I think week three was the hardest for us. And then I kind of just sunk in to the routine of focusing on myself. I've spent a lot of time journaling, working out, eating right. And I think that this is definitely the most time I've ever had to take care of myself and focus on my needs. To be honest, I think it's going to be difficult for me to get used to normal life. I am hoping to bring a little bit of this like self-awareness back home with me and into the work that I'm doing in LA as well. I feel like I'm coming out of this a little bit stronger, a little bit clearer, and a little bit more creative. Let me know in the comments below how your quarantine is going. What was the hardest week for you? Get on with my day and I'll answer the next question later. All right, I'm showered up, less stinky, and I ordered some food. I'm starving. I got in last night. Let me show you. There's zero food in the fridge. This is what I had to choose from. A little bit of chocolate. And I think it's time for the next question, which is, are we fighting more? And I'm really interested to hear Madeline's answer. <laughs> um, but I think we've gone through phases. Like right away, there was like no fighting, kind of like normal. And then I think like two weeks ago, maybe it was a week and a half ago, we had like the worst fight of quarantine, which I, fe I feel silly saying that because it wasn't that serious. But we were literally like doing an impromptu photo shoot and... <laughs> Neither of us knew what to expect, what we were doing the photo shoot for. But ever since then, we've been communicating better and this last week has been amazing. I think that's the thing about relationships is people expect that it's gonna be perfect. It's just not, like you have to work on it. You have to communicate. I'm so interested to hear what she says. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my food. Hi, so I'm back from my hike, run, it ended up being like five and a half miles. It was a little longer than I thought, but such a beautiful day. So glad I got to do that. How do you even do this? How do you even hold this? Man, I'm so weak. Are you fighting more? <laughs> um, let's see. I think, like I said, week three was definitely the hardest week. Jimmy and I probably fought the most, but it was a lot of arguments just about communication, lack of communication. And I think because of those arguments, the next few weeks were like golden. Anyway, but because of those fights, we are now communicating better than we've ever communicated, which is really, really cool. Okay, welcome to our kitchen. No, this is not a cooking tutorial. I'm just gonna be making lunch while I answer a few more of the questions. What has been the worst or I guess hardest part of the quarantine? So the hardest part for me has been the lack of friends. Go out to eat go see a movie, have a game night. That's, I'm missing game nights. Not being able to get Madeline into the studio. We had plans to release tons of music this year and we're going to still. It's been tough, honestly, but we're still rolling with the music. We still have lots of music coming. It's just taking a little bit longer because we can't get into the studio. I really miss going out to eat at restaurants. I'm not like a super social person to begin with. The little bit of socializing I did 
was just the right amount to keep me sane. And I like super miss hanging out with my friends. I miss coffee dates. I miss hikes. I miss walks. I miss game nights. I don't know. I just, I miss a lot of just like the connection and the hugs. Uh, I miss my writing sessions. I think that's been the hardest part, not being able to go to my writing sessions. I think the other hard part is just I had a bunch of plans and I had to put them on pause. I realize all of those things are very like luxurious things to have missed or grieved. I am making cashew yogurt with some almond butter, blueberries. Um, so let's just go right into the next question. The next question is, is this even good lighting? Should I have done this from, mm, okay, let's move. Let's just move slightly. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Oh. Way better lighting. Okay, next question is what has been the best part of quarantine? And the best part has probably been just the time I've been able to spend introspectively reflecting on what we've done this year, what we've done in the past, and also planning what we really want to prioritize moving forward. The time I've been able to spend with Madeline, really just enjoy each other's company. I'm probably really bad at vlogging by myself, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. Somehow I'm more natural when I have a Madeline right here. Definitely think that the amount of time I've been able to spend with Jimmy has been awesome. The amount of time I've been able to spend with the dogs has been awesome. And so this has been probably the longest amount of time we've been able to just stay in one place, which has been really cool. I am excited to get back to traveling because that's one of my favorite things to do. I'd say the amount of time we've been able to spend up here in Big Bear has been awesome. A lot of another thing that is my favorite part of the quarantine. If I had never been quarantined, I may never have discovered this. Oh my gosh, my gosh, I'm all just falling out. Just, no, just, no. Okay, this flavor of bubbly right here with two to three little squirts of this vanilla, stevia, and monk fruit liquid sweetener. It is by far my new favorite drink. I would never have discovered it otherwise, so. And then just an update for you guys. This is what my almond butter yogurt Looks like there's blueberries in there. So good. Now I'm just chilling out on the deck with the dogs. It is the most amazing weather right now up here in Big Bear. Hey guys, come here. Come here. Come say hi to the to the camera. Come on. Come on. Buddy says hi. Booger says hi. On this trip, Jimmy put chicken wire out on the deck and then built a little gate so the dogs can now come out on the deck. We don't have to worry about them running away and getting, getting eaten by coyotes, which is actually a fear of mine. What is the most ridiculous slash silliest thing that you've done in quarantine? So on week one of the quarantine, we had a friend couple of ours come up with us for the first week and we did this thing called the Quarantine Olympics. We just made up like ridiculous games with whatever stuff we had in the house and then we just played a bunch of games. Movie marathons, we watched every Harry Potter movie, every Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movie, Hunger Games, Hearts of the Caribbean, played a lot of Mario Kart, we had Mario Kart tournaments. I convinced Jimmy to start an Animal Crossing. Oh, I wrote a song, that's probably the most ridiculous thing I did. I wrote a song using only comments from Instagram called I Miss My Friends, you should check it out. Uh, I cut Jimmy's hair. <gasps> <laughs> that was terrifying and it actually turned out pretty good. We tried to have a lot of fun and like be kids again, like watch the movies like we used to. <sighs> I finished running all my errands in LA. So I'm about to head back to Big Bear. We're gonna wrap this vlog up with Madeline, but I'm gonna answer a couple questions before I hit the road. So the question is, what is the most ridiculous thing you've done during quarantine? You guys watched it, you were there with us. This. Madeline cut my hair. That's so bad! If you have any more ridiculous ideas for us to do, go ahead and comment them. I'm gonna go back to Big Bear now. Let's, how about, how about we both do that? I'm talking to myself. This is so weird to me still. Let's go! That was super weird. Part of what I came back to LA for, I'm gonna show you guys because I'm super pumped and I can't wait and I was gonna do it with Madeline, but I just can't wait, I was about to leave. It's a new piece of merch. It's the coolest merch we've ever had, by far. But basically, it's like a vintage-y looking t-shirt. So hard by myself. Uh, but it's so cool, guys. As you can see, it's dark and I did make it to Big Bear. You did, made it here Boy. alive. I did a puzzle. I went for a five mile run hike. You got hike. some sun. I got sun. Wow. And uh, then I was just pacing around the house waiting for Jimmy to get home, so. <laughs> so basically we were synchronized and we didn't even know it. We decided to answer the same question. I think I yeah, said I, that earlier I in the vlog that I was gonna do that for you, with you. and I didn't know, yeah. yeah. The last question is, what have we taken away from Clark? 
quarantine. Quarantine? <laughs> Who's quarantine? Quarantine. What have we taken away? I think off the top of my head, something that I've taken away is it's kind of cool to see the entire world come together to face something. It's not a cool thing, but it, that's the silver lining, I guess. The internet is cool. Oh, yeah. That is <laughs> that's good. what I realized. I feel like imagine doing this but without the internet i feel like i would have lost my mind without my like zoom chats without like facetime calls with friends and text messages and memes and funny videos but yeah i think this is where we're gonna leave the vlog because we're just gonna spend a little time together eating supper and relaxing sleeping, <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging around this is number five. Oh no but this is the most consistent we've ever been ever 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 so, so thank you guys should we get the dogs? Yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. Subscribe. Blah blah blah. See you later.